economics seen by the public is mostly comes through the talking heads that talk about what's going on in the, in the macro economy, what's going on in financial markets, make forecasts about what's going to happen a, a, a few quarters ahead or, or that sort of thing. Most of that analysis is not where the core of economic science is located, and, and a lot of it is barely scientific. I think the big mistake here is that, that people see that as what economics is and see economists as the people who do that. I would say I don't know how to persuade the public about the, uh, what goes on in economic science, but the bulk of er the things that I work on and, and most of the people I work with work on are very specific problems having to do with improving public policy, uh, detecting flaws in resource allocation, detecting problems in contracting between firms and, and things like that. It's evidence-based. It's uh, providing factual foundations for making policy decisions. Say, for example, when is a regulation counterproductive? That's the kind of question where I, I think actually what economists do is extremely valuable. And it's also not the sort of thing that the general public Here's, here's much about. Is part of the problem, do you think, that uh, economic knowledge amongst the general public is so limited? Would you advocate making basic economics, getting that taught in schools alongside maths and English, so people can engage with economics? Well, it would be, it would be good to have knowledge of economics more widespread at earlier stage in the population. The, the belling the cat problem is that there are virtually no teachers now <laughs> who are competent to uh, communicate that. I don't know, I think the general public's view of doctors or lawyers is, are based on television programs, more or less accurate about you know, their, their behavior. Perhaps we need a, a few uh, BBC <laughs> series on uh, you know, what really goes on in the econ economics laboratory.